So here is our Arduino code cost in to out to is output pin of a PIR sensor. It is connected to the pin two of Arduino. We have initialized a variable name value. Then in setup, we have a uh, begin the award rated 38,400 and pin mode out to input. In the while loop, we have uh, uh, we have set up the values equals to digital read out. It will return the value of one if sensor is active and value zero if sensor is not active. And delay after delay of 100, 100, we have checked that if value is equals to one or value is equals to high, it will send D to the serial print. Otherwise, it will send N. So here is our app. First of all, I have added horizontal arrangement from layout. Then inside horizontal arrangement, I have added list picker, list picker from uh, user interface. Here it is. And inside the this list picker. I have added Bluetooth icon and after that I have added label 4 from a user interface this label and uh, named it as Bluetooth status. After that I have added uh, a horizontal arrangement too uh, which is this and adding after this I have added a label and named it as motion detector. After this I have added uh, Bluetooth client 1 and clock. Bluetooth client uh, one from uh, connectivity here and clock from sensors. As clock is necessary if uh, we are sending some data from Arduino and receiving it from app. Now moving towards the block section. First of all, I have detected the Bluetooth and when the Bluetooth is connected, it will uh, turn the uh, it will turn the Bluetooth status to green and uh, mark it as connected. Then, uh, after synchronization of the clock, after synchronization of the uh, clock, it will check if the if there are some bytes available for the Bluetooth or not. Uh, when the bytes are available, then it uh, enters this if condition. As we are sending our data uh, in the Arduino, uh, which sends D if the motion is detected. So here, it uh, so here it will uh, just search for D if D is there. Then it will set the label six to detect it and set, set label six background color to green. Uh, otherwise, it will set label six to nothing and label six background text color to red. After you have made the app, you will go to build and app save to my computer. When you click the app, this will appear. Click install. Install anywhere. And then click open. So here is the motion detector. Uh, first of all, we will uh, connect the Bluetooth. We will uh, pay a new device and here is our device name slave click it enter pin one two three four now it is paired go to our app click bluetooth icon and in third, it is slave device. Click it and it will connect automatically. Here, my hand is detected.